Ladies and gentlemen, Cameron from Swift Devs here. Today, um, we're messing with UI, or not UI, a uh, activity indicator and a web view. Um, so using the web view delegate. We're using a single view application. I'm gonna name this web view activity delegate tutorial or whatever. All right, make sure it's set for Swift. And we're gonna go ahead and start. Sorry, I haven't been doing a whole lot uh, recently. I'm trying to get more and more advanced into the Swift stuff. I'm um, just trying to get ahead. Um, I haven't been able to do that a whole lot though because of um, just, uh, um, you know, I've been doing a lot of research on it and that research took me a little longer than I was hoping. So, um,. All right, we're gonna set this. I'm gonna set mine for 3.5 inch iPhone. Go ahead, drag in a web view, and then also drag in a UI activity indicator. I'm gonna shrink my web view here, actually. And then activity indicator view. I'm gonna put this somewhere, you know, somewhere near the middle. Uh, style, I'm gonna use a large white version. But you don't have to have it white, you can change the color. I'm gonna change my color to like uh, blue. And then go ahead and open up your assistant editor. And we're gonna delete this little bit of code, we don't need it. So in the UI web view, you're gonna go ahead, you're gonna drag that over, you're gonna put it as an outlet. I'm gonna just name it web view. Do the same thing for the, for the activity indicator, except we're gonna call it activity. Oh, come on. Activity. All right, so we need something for the web view to load. So I'm gonna just real quickly here. Uh, if you follow the tutorial on uh, creating a um, a web view before, I mean, if you haven't created a web view before, uh, I would highly recommend you look at that tutorial first. You don't have to. Uh, I mean, you can just copy this code and not know what's going on. That's fine with me. Um, so anyway, I'm just gonna do a function. We're gonna load address. And we're gonna go ahead and I'm just gonna load uh, mobile.weather.gov. So, and S U R L string, and then we're doing HTTP colon mobile.weather.gov, then let request equals N S U R L request. URL request URL then web view dot load request is request just like that and then go ahead put it in your load view did load and load address all right so now we need to we want to make it so that this little activity indicator will animate. So we want to do behavior animating and then hides when stopped. You want those both checked right there. So that's for the activity indicator view. So next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna do function web view did start load. Open up your brackets, put a underscore colon UI web view. And then open up your brackets, and you can do act. I'm gonna name it. Uh, actually, I'll just leave it. Yeah, we're fine. Activity. Dot start animating. And then under that, go ahead and do function. Web view did finish load. And open up your brackets underscore colon UI web view. Do this here. Oh. And then activity dot stop animating. All right, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to add some NS logs to this so that way the log will tell us what's going on. So go ahead and NS log open it up and you're just using a string here I'm gonna put uh, I'm gonna put something like the web view is starting to load 
same thing over here and a log. Oh, come on. All right. So we have all this. All right. We have our code. But here's the thing. If you noticed, we didn't link this to the view did load these functions. So what we got to do is we got to use the delegate. So it's how we do this. Very simple. Very easy. Uh, Swift has made it a whole lot easier than uh, Objective C. You take this. You're gonna click, Control click, go to the view controller, and you see this thing called outlets, and it says delegate. Click delegate. All right. So now let's go ahead and load this up. Let's hope that there's no errors as I really program that as quickly as possible. And we're gonna work off of it. If you have not followed Swift Devs on Twitter yet, go ahead, do that. Uh, at Swift, Swift Devs, uh, no space, no underscore, it's just Swift Devs. Uh, if you haven't followed me on Twitter, um, that'll be at the bottom of the video here in the corner. Um, I tweet just about everything from sports to uh, programming. So, um, and and then the occasional retweet on school problems or something. But um, yeah. So um, our website is uh, also up swiftdevs.co. Um, we got a couple of complaints about some. Uh, some uh, stuff going wrong on the website and uh, we are aware we've been working on it uh, actively and we're hoping we're hoping to get the website completely bug free here within the next month or so um, it should be it's still operational so as you can see it's loading right now and in our ns log oh it said the web view is starting to load there we go all right so and then it did stop loading and then the web view is done loading so in the ns log it said that it's done loading and then voila so we're gonna let's type in something let's type in um oh new york new york city new york i'm gonna go ahead and hit go as you can see, the activity indicator came up, and then now it's gone again. It doesn't look like the weather's supposed to be too friendly to New York. Looks like a chance of rain. But uh, anyway, that's uh, that's the UI delegate, everybody. Um, thank you for watching this video. Make sure to subscribe. Uh, follow me and Swift Devs on Twitter. Check out our website, swiftdevs.co. And uh, I hope to see you in our next video sometime. I'm hoping to get a little more advanced here. Um, at some point, we will be going back to some uh, basic stuff. Uh, so for those of you that are still anxious on learning some uh, easier stuff and don't know what's going on, I mean, this is very simple right here. All code is simple. It's just how much you actually have to do. Um, anyway, I'm Cameron. Thank you for watching.